Um, first of all, Minister, um, the genius of a minister that told people slow down today would want to sort of hurry up or get faster in government at making decisions with the situation that's evolving at the moment. I support what you're doing tonight. I think it's the first step in the stairs, but by God, you have a few more steps to go over the coming weeks because people are desperate out there. Um, the reality at the moment, Minister, is that on home heat and oil, there is no break for those people. And what I'm asking you to do is look at the VAT on that, because the VAT you're getting now compared with 18 months ago is a lot more. The same on the green diesel. The VAT could be reduced. We're able to do it for the hotel sector, so we should be able to do it um, for th those two sectors at least. Second of all, commentary has been made that people with lorries, everyone can draw the VAT rebate. Not everyone, you have to be a registered haulier. But most lorries in Ireland aren't actually registered hauliers. They are ordinary people that has lorries going around the place doing different types of work. Um, also, buses cannot throw the VAT back. And that's one thing you need to look at and make a change in the finance bill. Um, <clears throat> Minister, there's one thing going on, and I'm not going to keep, I'm not blaming you tonight. You know, I welcome the bit that's coming, but we need to do more, because people, they're, look at their, their wits end. But the racketeering that's gone on, I've written on Monday to um, the CC, the Competition Authority, or the regulator on it. I've written on Monday, and they need to get up off their arse at what's going on in this country. Because anybody knows that there was always 65 to 67 cent of excise in white diesel as again green diesel. There was always that difference, plus VAT at 23%, as again VAT at 13.5%. So there was a fair substantial difference between the two diesels. Tonight, it, we're being quoted 170, 180 in places for green diesel. And you can buy white diesel at 2 euro, 215. So there's something going on in racketeering. It hasn't been looked at that the surcharge has been imposed on lorries going into Dublin tonight? Has it been looked at the surcharges that's going into Derry tonight? Because they're fairly substantial that's being put on top of the price. On top of that, what's the rebate that's being given back if you use more diesel or if you're a good customer? Is that talked about anywhere? No. Well, it all needs to come out in the washing at the moment about the rebate because it's pretty substantial. Right throughout the last 10 years, when you went to a filling station, petrol was always 5 to 10 cent more. Why tonight in tune, 2.27 for diesel, 2.19, and this is the top grade, 2.19 for petrol. What sort of gouging or racketeering is going on with the importers of oil in this country and with the distributors of oil in this country? We need to make sure, Minister, that the people that's put in place to look after this aren't sitting within in fancy offices. They should be out there confiscating those computers or iPads to see what is going on in this country. Because you can give five cent or ten cent. Last night and the night before took that money with what they put it up. And if the racketeer then keeps going, we can vote whatever we want through here. Deputy. But there should be always 60 to 70 cent Deputy between a litre of green time. diesel and a litre of white Sir, diesel, Deputy or a litre of kerosene and a litre of, of white diesel. Thank you.